So with this assembly drawing that we have here, uh, this question is a standing piece. So we we'll draw the vertical center line first, and then we will draw a horizontal center line. And the reason that I do these center lines is because I realize that this shape here has a lot of diameters. So it's a circular figure. So I'll start by doing my, my largest, which is diameter 80. Now the important thing about when you're working towards the exam is the time. You need to make sure that you manage your time wisely. So I'm just going to put in a lot of these circles here one time. Try to follow please so that you understand clearly which part it is I'm doing. I'm going to do this top circle here and all this 36. And then I'm going to do the M20. So I'll just change the layers to outlines because these are going to be solid circles that are seen down here. You follow me so far? So this M20, you know, it has a thread. So you can just offset that maybe at one or do it at diameter 19. Let's see how the 19 looks. If the 19 is too close, you could do it at 18. So this is the plan view here for the most part of that shape. So now I'll project upwards. So the thing is that you want to start your drawings like this so that you have more than one view at the same time. Once you do the view in the plan view, you continue to do the view in the front. So I just projected up the outer lines. So I'll do the base of this front view. You following this so far? So the height of this little piece here coming out is 15. And I'll just draw that across long and finish this piece. You understand this so far? So that's the bottom of it, all right? So this other piece now, it should be an outline, a uh, construction line, sorry. This line comes from here, straight up to here. So that is the 68 that's here, you understand that? So now I can't do that slanted line, I need to offset it. I need to offset the 85 and offset the 40. And you realize that the diameter up here is 36. So I project up. And because I have the circles here, I just have to project up. You follow that so far? So that's the whole purpose of drawing the view that has the circles first, so that you can project your lines upward. And it also makes sure that your measurements are the same. So I'll just clean this up now. Now, it says here that there's an offset here of six for a smaller circle. So we just offset that.
and then we extend it down to the base. So to use the extend, you left click the line, type in extend, So this will give me now a new hidden detail circle down here. So as we go forward to finish this piece here, it has a bit of a chamfer here at the top, but I'll just project up the hole. It may change this hole to a diameter 80 instead. So this is the M, the M measurement that we have. That diameter was M20, so I'll just put this at 18. And that looks a little better. So here's my hidden detail now. It says here that there is, well, there's a little chamfer there. So we'll just extend this again. And we go to do our fillet. And we redraw this line across. So this is the front view of this object, and this is a plan view of the same object. Now I should have a break in here. Now because um, it's a hole, your break is going to be on the outer side, or in the outer circle. You follow me so far? Mm -hmm. So what I can do from here is I'm just going to assemble this piece, I'm not going to do the section, but I'm going to drop this piece in the top of here. So from the top, there's a 25 going up. So I offset that 25. It has a hole up here at 12, so I'll offset that at 12. And I'll just put in that hole at the same time. And that hole is down to 8. The curves here, it says that there's a radius 3 fillet at the corner. So you type in your radius 3. Enter. 
and you just go the same thing again. Radius, three, enter. Now the thing is, is that this piece here is solid. So we're gonna see this piece here in the plan view as a solid piece. So what that means is that these holes here now are going to be hidden. Because when this piece here comes on top, we can't see these holes here. You follow me? Do you follow me on that? That these holes... When you take a look, before those holes were solid because there was no part here. See? So we could have seen these holes here. But now that the part is on the top. You can't see it. Right? Very good. So I'll just put in this little piece here at the top now. And we'll do the seven offset. Offset by four. And we'll offset by seven again. So that's a seven four seven measurement that's up there. We'll also do another offset here with these diameters. There's a diameter 12, a diameter 8. So we'll offset 6. And then we'll offset 4. So the measurement that is for 8 is this one here in the middle. So we'll just check this measurement here to see if it is actually the 8. So it's 8 millimeters. And then we have this measurement now that we'll place here for the outer part. It is 7. So I'm just drawing new lines. So I don't have to do all of the trimming. And once those new lines are finished, I'll just delete these offset lines that I had done earlier. So there's the part that we just drew in. And that's that piece we have in this part here. Let's make the center line. And this part in the plan view, we'll see these little circles here in the plan view. Get into the habit of projecting from one view to the other. So that is the 8 circle, well the 12 circle, sorry. And then we're going to have no the 8 circle here. And these holes are at the top of the figure. So the big one is going to be solid. Well, that small one is going to be hidden. So as I said here, the important thing is to project your lines. Now the reason that those those that the eight one is hidden is because when you look at it, the twelve is at the top. So when you look down, you're not going to see that. So here's the front and the plan view um, of these. Just these two parts assembled. I need to put in this long piece here. And remember that that long piece is at M20. So we just need to extend this down. It also comes down here at 110. So we offset it at 110. So I offset it from this piece here, but that's actually incorrect. Because you see it's below the figure. So when this part here sits on top of this, yeah, the offset should be from a little bit. 
the onset should be from here. So now we just need to extend. You left click the line and you extend the pieces. You just left click them and they will extend them. So we've just put that part in and that remains remain as hidden detail. And for right now, this is the front and the plan view. I'm going to turn off this construction layer, but when we mark at CXE, you will still need to see those construction lines. So we have here the base, well, not the base, the, the actual body, the plan view of the body. And we notice the plan view because We'll just check some of the measurements just to be sure. So this here should be 36. And we should have here, this circle should be 20. We should have here a diameter 80 and also a diameter 68. So we have those measurements uh, correct. Now this small piece when it came on should be diameter 12. And there should also be a small diameter 8 in here, which is the hidden. So as we come up now, we just check some of these vertical measurements because once again, this is what we will do at CXC. You need to check to make sure that the measurements are correct. So the height of this piece here should be 140. And that 140 is correct. We should also see a 15 millimeter measurement here. And this little piece at the top here should be 40. Now going into the second piece, this height here should be 25. And we should have a seven, a four, and then a seven. And the last piece that I'll check is just the length of this, the length of the shaft, which is supposed to be 110. So all of the measurements here are correct. Now I did not section the figure and I only assemble two of the parts. There are some other parts here that you will have to do to show uh, your completed drawing. Now I'll just do one last thing here quickly with these dimensions. Remember that CXC will ask you for our six main dimensions. So you want to make sure that you have your dimensions on the correct layers. I have not labeled the view, nor have I put on a symbol, but you need to remember that those are important things that you have to do as well. So just to take a look at the printed drawing, how would it look? So we can see there the different weights of the drawings, the weights of the lines, and that's one of the important things about it. So you can always do this to check to make sure if your work is correct or incorrect. 